Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. We got registered uh, dietitian Amanda Nash joining us from the Heart and Stroke Foundation looking at simple ways to uh, still get a good snack and cut down on the sodium. That's we'll right. talk popcorn, but first we wanted to kind of define for people. Sure. Uh, sodium and salt are not exactly the same thing. Not quite, but you'll hear the word interchanged right. all the time because sodium is a mineral that's found in salt. Okay. So whether it's table salt, sea salt, gourmet salt, kosher salt, all the salts, what they have in common is the sodium. And it's very, very close, similar amounts in all the different types of salts. Okay. Now, sodium is something our body does need. It has a very important role in the body. So we do need about 12 to 1500 milligrams of sodium, but most Canadians receive about 3500 milligrams. Wow. Okay. So, so we're getting a lot. What is the much. role? First, we'll talk role and then danger. What's the role of sodium in the Sure. Life? Sodium helps with your fluid balance, it helps with your nerves, lots of different things that sodium does in the body. But too much salt, so specifically when you get over 2,300 milligrams, okay. which most Canadians are doing, yes. um, you can start to see adverse health effects. And those health effects can be things like high blood pressure. In fact, one in three people who have high blood pressure could have low blood pressure if they reduce their salt intake. So just that one, strong small, what's that one lifestyle change? Yes. Exactly. So sodium and high blood pressure, a very strong relationship. It also increases your risk for stomach cancer. It increases your risk for osteoporosis, so uh, bone loss. Yep. It, uh, if you have asthma, it can make your asthmatic symptoms worse. Oh. So there's a lot of negative things with too much salt, too much sodium. And unfortunately, most Canadians are having too much. And most Canadians don't realize where it's coming from. You know, we've, we've got your salt shaker there, but usually that's not the culprit. Exactly. So t about 12% of our salt intake comes from the salt shaker. So that's at the table or in the kitchen. Sure. That's an easy 12% to slowly wean away. Um, stop but we want to- Stop putting the shaker on the table. Yes, exactly. You just save yourself 12 And experiment. There's all these great flavors here that we can use in our foods instead of salt. And we're still going to get great tastes without the sodium. Okay, so I cut out those. I cut out the the, the dash that I'm going to put on. Well, most everything gets a sprinkle every now and then. And look at some alternative ideas. Yeah, but be careful because your taste buds take a little bit of time to adjust. So don't just all of a sudden switch to a very low sodium diet because you're not going to stick to it because you'll notice a big difference. But if you slowly decrease the sodium you eat, okay. your taste buds adapt and then you won't even notice that you've decreased your salt because foods will taste salty even though they don't have as much. Okay, and for those of us who are the chefs in our family, it's a good idea to keep in mind on how much sodium is going into things. Yes. And it's not its not me uh, adding some to the sauce or putting some into the, into the pot. It's usually where my sources yes. are coming from. Yes, and that's where label reading can be very, very helpful. Okay. When you're looking at the label, um, I've mentioned some high numbers, so don't worry about the milligrams. Let's look at the percentage. And when you look at the percentage, this is based off 100% being the 2300 milligrams. So if we can get an average of 10% um, or less per food item, that's going to be great. Okay. If we're looking at an entree, less than 30% is good. All right. And if we're looking at something like condiments, like salad dressings or mayonnaise or those types of things, less is better because that's just a flavor you're adding. Right. So a general rule of thumb is 10% or less. Okay, so coming up on BT, we're gonna make sure that your uh, snack, your Friday night movie snack is as healthy as it can be. We'll talk about cutting sodium out of your popcorn and we get that and more coming up today on Breakfast Television. I have to wait, right?